Welcome back to our channel everyone. The anticipation has been palpable and finally, the moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. The enigmatic Third Pyramid of Giza, also renowned as the Pyramid of Menkori, has opened its doors to the public. After years of waiting, today we get to traverse the inner sanctum of this ancient wonder and unravel its well-guarded secrets. The Third Pyramid, a majestic structure, holds within its stone walls mysteries that span millennia. From hidden chambers to intricate hieroglyphics, as we step inside today, we're whisked back to the epoch of the pharaohs, witnessing the grandeur and majesty of ancient Egypt firsthand. The unveiling of the Pyramid of Menkaura, the smallest yet most elusive amongst Giza's famous trio, is a monumental event that allows the world to marvel at the ingenuity and craftsmanship of the ancient Egyptians. So, brace yourself as we embark on this thrilling exploration into the past, and together, Decipher the enigma that is the Pyramid of Menkor. As we journey back to the era of the pharaohs, we find ourselves in the midst of a landscape dotted with the most iconic structures of ancient Egypt, the pyramids. These architectural marvels, a testament to the technological prowess of the ancient Egyptians, continue to stand tall even after thousands of years. But how were these colossal structures built? The construction of the pyramids remains one of the most intriguing mysteries of ancient history. Built as tombs for the pharaohs and their consorts, these structures were a part of a larger complex that included temples and other associated buildings. While the pyramids of Khufu and Khafre are well known for their grandeur, it is the Pyramid of Menkora, the smallest of the three, that holds a unique allure. Constructed during the 26th century BC, during the reign of the pharaoh Menkora, this pyramid, though smaller in stature, is no less significant. This was an era marked by significant advancements in technology, culture and administration, making the construction of such a structure an even more remarkable achievement. The Pyramid of Menkora, with its unique construction and the mystery surrounding its unexplored chambers, stands as a symbol of this period of ancient Egyptian history. So let's delve deeper into the timeline, into the era of its construction, and set the stage for the grand revelation that awaits us. The secrets of the Pyramid of Menkare are about to be unveiled, and we are about to step into a world that has been hidden from human eyes for millennia. Welcome to the Pyramid of Menkara, the third pyramid of Giza, a structure that may be smaller in size but is no less significant in stature. Unlike its larger counterparts, the pyramids of Khufu and Khafre, this pyramid's dimensions suggest a different approach to pyramid construction. Rising to a height of 65 meters, it is dwarfed by the Great Pyramid, which soars to an impressive 146 meters. Yet, the Pyramid of Menkar is no less a marvel of engineering. Constructed of limestone and granite, this pyramid showcases the ancient Egyptians' mastery over stone. The casing stones, made of beautiful red granite, are a testament to the aesthetic sensibilities of the builders. These stones, sourced from quarries located hundreds of miles away, speak volumes about the logistical capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. The pyramid's unique interior design, with its intricate network of chambers and corridors, is a stark contrast to the simpler designs of the other pyramids. This complexity has given rise to numerous theories about its construction. Some believe that this pyramid was built by a workforce of thousands, laboring under the harsh Egyptian sun. Others propose that it was constructed by a smaller, more skilled group of workers who were able to execute the complex design. Innovations in construction techniques are also evident in the Pyramid of Menkora. The builders employed a method known as core and veneer, where a rough core of local stone was covered with a veneer of polished granite. This method allowed the builders to construct a pyramid that was both structurally sound and aesthetically pleasing. The Pyramid of Menkara, with its unique architectural features and innovations, stands as a testament to the ingenuity and skill of its builders. As we delve deeper into the mystery of its construction, we are bound to uncover more about the people who built it and the pharaoh for whom it was built, as we continue to unravel the enigma of the Third Pyramid of Giza. Imagine standing before an ancient structure, a marvel of engineering whose secrets have been locked away for millennia. This is the reality that faces archaeologists as they embark on the daunting task of excavating the Pyramid of Menkara. The challenges are immense. 
The unforgiving desert heat, the physical toll of labor, and the painstakingly slow process of unearthing each stone, each artifact, each clue to the past. Yet it is the tantalizing promise of discovery, of unlocking the secrets of an ancient civilization that fuels their determination. In recent years, technological advancements have revolutionized the field of archaeology. Ground-penetrating radar, satellite imagery and 3D modeling are just a few of the tools that are aiding in the exploration of the pyramid. These technologies have allowed archaeologists to peer beneath the surface, to visualize what lies beneath the sand and to plan their excavations with precision. As the sands of time are carefully swept away, the pyramid begins to reveal its secrets. Each discovery is a piece of the puzzle, a step closer to understanding the people who built this extraordinary monument. From pottery shards to intricate jewelry, from tools to hieroglyphics, each artifact is a tangible link to the past. The hieroglyphics in particular are a treasure trove of information. These ancient symbols carved into stone tell the stories of the pharaohs, their reigns, their beliefs and their aspirations. Yet, the most significant discovery lies within the pyramid itself. The burial chambers, hidden deep within the pyramid's core, are the final resting place of Pharaoh Menkor. These chambers, untouched for centuries, hold the key to understanding the spiritual beliefs and burial practices of the ancient Egyptians. As we continue our journey into the heart of the pyramid, we are not just exploring a structure, but a civilization, a culture and a way of life that has long since faded into history. Join us as we delve deeper into the mystery, into the enigma that is the Pyramid of Menkara. Having embarked on this quest, it is time we delve into the cultural significance of the Pyramid of Menkara. But what exactly was the purpose and function of this grand structure in ancient Egyptian society? Built as a tomb for the Pharaoh Menkara, this pyramid was not just a resting place for the king, but a symbol of his divine status and power. The ancient Egyptians believed that the pyramids would help their pharaohs ascend to the afterlife, becoming gods in their own right. As such, the pyramid's construction was a deeply spiritual process filled with elaborate rituals and ceremonies. Every aspect of the pyramid's architecture and decorations held symbolic importance. The pyramid's triangular shape, for instance, represented the primordial mound from which the Egyptians believed the earth was created. The decorations and hieroglyphics adorning the walls of the pyramid were not merely artistic expressions. They were a sacred script, a divine language that spoke of the pharaoh's life, his achievements and his journey to the afterlife. The construction of a pyramid was also a reflection of the societal norms and political structures of ancient Egypt. It showcased the absolute power of the pharaoh, who could command the resources and labor required for such a monumental task. The pyramid was a testament to the intricate bureaucracy and the socio-political hierarchy that held the ancient Egyptian society together. Yet, the pyramid was more than just a symbol of power and religion. It was a link between the earthly realm and the divine, a stairway to eternity. As we continue to unearth the enigma of the Pyramid of Menkor, we find ourselves not just exploring a monument, but an entire civilization, its beliefs, its norms and its understanding of life, death and the divine. Join us as we peel back the layers of time and delve deeper into the cultural tapestry of ancient Egypt. In the wake of our exploration into the cultural tapestry of the Pyramid of Menkore, we must pause and reflect on the lasting impact of this monumental structure on our global understanding of ancient civilizations. The pyramid, a testament to the architectural prowess and societal sophistication of the ancient Egyptians, has been a beacon of historical inquiry, igniting curiosity and fostering knowledge. Its enigmatic presence has shaped the course of archaeological research, providing invaluable insights into the beliefs, practices and societal structures of one of the world's oldest civilizations. The pyramid's legacy, however, is not confined to the annals of history. It resonates in the present, influencing contemporary architectural designs, cultural practices and even spiritual beliefs. Its silhouette graces modern skylines, its symbolism echoes in literature and art, and its spiritual significance permeates religious discourses. Yet, as we stand on the precipice of unearthing the pyramid's secrets, we are reminded of the importance of conservation. The pyramid, like all archaeological treasures, is a fragile link to our past. Its preservation is crucial not just for historical inquiry, but for cultural continuity, 
for maintaining a tangible connection with our ancestors and their legacies. Conservation efforts, therefore, are a responsibility we owe to the past and the future. Yet these efforts are fraught with challenges. Limited resources, environmental factors and even political instability pose significant hurdles. There is a dire need for global cooperation, for harnessing advancements in technology and for adopting sustainable practices in archaeological research and preservation. The path ahead is riddled with challenges, but the rewards are worth the effort. As we prepare to delve deeper into the pyramid's enigma, we must remember that we are not just unearthing secrets, we are preserving a legacy. A legacy that has shaped our past, enriches our present and will continue to illuminate our future. In the shadow of the Pyramid of Menkara, we find ourselves at the gateway to a world long hidden from human eyes. As we prepare to step into this ancient edifice, we must first understand the language of the pyramid. The ancient Egyptians did not use words as we do today. Instead, they communicated through a rich tapestry of symbols, colors, materials and architectural elements. Each hieroglyph, each splash of color, each stone had a specific meaning, a story to tell. The pyramid was not just a tomb or a monument, it was a canvas, a sacred text written in a language that has been lost to us over time. As we delve deeper into the pyramid, we find ourselves surrounded by this ancient language. Hieroglyphics adorn the walls, their inscriptions whispering tales of pharaohs, gods and the afterlife. The use of colors, too, is deliberate and symbolic. Blues represent the sky and water, essential elements of life and rebirth. Red symbolize chaos and disorder, a constant reminder of the balance between order and chaos that the pharaoh was tasked with maintaining. The materials used in the pyramid's construction, from the limestone blocks to the granite inner chamber, bear witness to the architectural prowess and resource management of the ancient Egyptians. The pyramid's alignment with the cardinal points, its precise measurements and its intricate internal structure reflect a deep understanding of astronomy and geometry. As we decipher these symbols, we begin to unravel the enigma of the pyramid. Each symbol, each hieroglyph, each architectural element is a piece of the puzzle, a key to understanding the mind of an ancient civilization. Yet, as we delve deeper into the pyramid, we are reminded that we are not just unearthing secrets, we are also preserving a legacy, a legacy that has shaped our past, enriches our present and will continue to illuminate our future. In the wake of the language of the pyramid, we find ourselves contemplating the economic and labor implications of such grand structures. Imagine for a moment the monumental task of constructing a pyramid. It would require not only a vast amount of resources, but also a well-organized workforce. Each pyramid was a testament to the economic power of the pharaoh and a reflection of the social structure of the time. The pyramids were not built by slaves, as often believed, but by paid laborers. These workers were organized into crews, each with a specific task. The crews were further divided into smaller teams, each led by a foreman, reflecting a clear hierarchy and division of labor. The construction of a pyramid was a massive national project that involved the entire community. The workers were not just builders, they were artists, engineers and astronomers. They lived in nearby settlements, their lives revolving around the pyramid. The pyramid, thus, was not just a monument to the pharaoh, it was also a testament to the strength, skill and dedication of its builders. The construction of the pyramids had a significant impact on the local economy. It created jobs, stimulated trade and led to advancements in technology and infrastructure. The pyramids, in turn, attracted visitors from far and wide, bringing wealth and prosperity to the local communities. As we continue our journey into the heart of the pyramid, we are reminded of the countless hands that shaped its stones, the countless lives that were intertwined with its destiny. Each stone, each hieroglyph, each architectural element is not just a piece of the puzzle. It is also a testament to the might of an ancient civilization, a civilization that continues to amaze us with its ingenuity, its resilience and its spirit. Following our contemplation of the economic and labor implications of pyramid building, let's delve into the environmental and geographical factors that played a significant role. The Nile's annual flooding, the scorching desert heat and the vast barren landscapes presented formidable challenges to the ancient Egyptians. 
Nevertheless, they turned these obstacles into opportunities and used the Nile's mud brick for construction and its flood cycle to transport materials. The location of the pyramids, too, was of paramount importance. They were strategically placed on the west bank of the Nile, the land associated with the realm of the dead and aligned with celestial bodies, reflecting the Egyptians' deep-rooted beliefs in life after death and their astronomical knowledge. The pyramids have also been the silent witnesses to the changing climate over the millennia. They have withstood the test of time, but recent studies suggest that climate change and human activities pose a threat to these ancient wonders. Rising groundwater levels, increased humidity and air pollution are causing physical damage to the pyramids, eroding the stones and fading the hieroglyphs. Tourism, although a vital source of income, has its drawbacks. The constant touch of human hands, the vibration from foot traffic and poor maintenance are contributing to the gradual deterioration of these structures. The pyramids thus are not just architectural marvels. They are also a testament to the resilience of a civilization that thrived amidst environmental challenges and a stark reminder of the threats that our own actions and a changing climate pose to our shared cultural heritage. As we stand on the threshold of unearthing the enigma of the Third Pyramid, we must also ponder on our responsibility to preserve these ancient wonders for future generations. From the shifting sands of the desert, we now journey along the invisible lines of cultural exchange and influence that the pyramids and indeed Egypt itself have etched across the globe. The ancient Egyptians were not isolated in their corner of Africa. They traded, interacted and even waged wars with their neighbors. They absorbed influences and also in turn influenced the cultures around them. The pyramids, as magnificent as they are, did not emerge in a vacuum. They were the product of an exchange of ideas, techniques and materials, a testament to the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations, the grandeur of the pyramids, the sophistication of Egyptian art, the complexity of their religion and beliefs, all left an indelible imprint on the cultures that came into contact with them. From the Greeks and Romans who adopted and adapted Egyptian architectural styles and religious beliefs, to the Nubians in the south who were deeply influenced by Egyptian culture and even built their own pyramids. The echoes of Egyptian civilization can be heard far and wide. The pyramids in particular have stood the test of time, not just as architectural marvels but as cultural ambassadors, spreading the legacy of a civilization long gone. But how do we know all this? The answer lies in archaeology. By meticulously studying artifacts, inscriptions and architectural styles, archaeologists have been able to trace the paths of cultural exchange and influence. They have unearthed evidence of trade, conflict and even intermarriage between the Egyptians and their neighbors. They have discovered echoes of Egyptian art and architecture in the ruins of distant lands. And they continue to uncover new evidence, adding more pieces to the puzzle of Egypt's cultural legacy. As we gear up to unlock the secrets of the Third Pyramid, let's remember that we are not just unearthing a structure. We are also unveiling a web of cultural connections that span continents and millennia. When we delve into the past, when we unearth ancient structures and artifacts, we tread a delicate path. We must remember that we are not merely explorers or historians. We are also custodians of our shared human heritage. As we stand on the brink of unveiling the secrets of the Pyramid of Menkor, it's essential to take a moment to address the ethical considerations in archaeology. It's not just about the thrill of discovery, but also about the responsibility of preservation and respect. Archaeologists have a duty to ensure that their work does not harm the very heritage they seek to understand. They must strive to preserve the integrity of ancient sites, to minimize the impact of their investigations and to restore and conserve the monuments they study. But archaeology is not just about the past, it's also about the present and the future. It's about understanding how our history shapes our identity, our culture and our worldview. That's why community engagement is fundamental to the practice of archaeology. By involving local communities, by respecting their traditions and their perspectives, archaeologists can ensure that their work is not just about unearthing the past, but also about enriching the present. Collaboration with local stakeholders is crucial in this regard. It's about acknowledging that the cultural heritage belongs to the people who live with it, who have inherited it, and who will pass it on to future generations. 
In the case of the pyramids, for instance, the local Egyptian community has a deep connection with these ancient monuments, a connection that goes beyond mere historical interest. Their voice, their perspective is an essential part of the narrative. Indigenous perspectives also play a pivotal role in archaeology. They offer insights and understandings that can enrich and deepen our interpretation of the past. By engaging with indigenous communities, by respecting their knowledge and their wisdom, archaeologists can contribute to a more inclusive and holistic understanding of our shared heritage. As we gear up to unlock the secrets of the Pyramid of Menkaura, let's remember these ethical considerations. Let's remember that archaeology is not just about unearthing secrets, it's also about preserving a legacy, about honoring a heritage and about engaging with communities. Let's remember that the past belongs to all of us and that we all have a role to play in preserving and understanding it. Before we embark on our journey into the heart of the Pyramid of Menkore, let's take a moment to explore a key aspect of ancient Egyptian culture that shaped its construction and use, the rituals and ceremonies. The pyramids were not mere tombs, they were sacred spaces, a bridge between the mortal realm and the divine. They were the stage for elaborate rituals and ceremonies that were as much a part of the Pharaoh's journey to the afterlife as the pyramid itself. Priests played a pivotal role in these ceremonies. They were the intermediaries between the Pharaoh and the gods, the ones who guided the Pharaoh's soul on its journey to the afterlife. They performed complex rituals invoking the gods and preparing the Pharaoh's body and soul for the journey ahead. Embalming was a critical part of this process. It was not just about preserving the body, but also about preparing the pharaoh's ka, or life force, for its journey. Embalmers were skilled practitioners, adept at the arts of mummification and preservation. They ensured that the pharaoh's body was ready to house his ka for eternity. The burial goods that accompanied the pharaoh into the pyramid were not mere possessions, they were offerings to the gods, symbols of the pharaoh's status and power. They were meant to aid the pharaoh in his journey, to provide him with the means to sustain himself in the afterlife. Funerary texts inscribed on the walls of the pyramid were guides for the pharaoh, spells and prayers meant to protect him, to guide him, and to ensure his safe passage to the afterlife. They were the pharaoh's roadmap, his guidebook, to the realm of the gods. These rituals and ceremonies, these practices and beliefs were an integral part of the pyramid's construction and use. They were the threads that wove together the fabric of ancient Egyptian culture that shaped the narrative of the pyramid. As we prepare to step into the pyramid of Menkara, let's remember these rituals and ceremonies. Let's remember the priests, the embalmers, the offerings and the texts. Because to truly understand the pyramid, we must first understand the culture that built it. Stepping away from the stone and sand, let's delve into the mines that make these magnificent discoveries possible. Archaeology at its core is a discipline that thrives on collaboration. It's not just about the archaeologists meticulously chipping away at layers of history. It's about historians piecing together narratives, conservators preserving the finds, and local communities lending their invaluable insights. This is the essence of interdisciplinary archaeology. Interdisciplinary archaeology underscores the importance of various disciplines working seamlessly together. Archaeologists bring to light the physical evidence of the past. Historians weave these findings into coherent narratives. Conservators ensure the longevity of these discoveries and local communities provide the cultural context. Each role is as crucial as the next and their harmonious collaboration is what breathes life into the relics of the past. Let's take the case of the discovery of the lost city of Helica, for instance. The city, mentioned in ancient texts, was said to have been swallowed by the sea after a massive earthquake. For years, archaeologists searched in vain. It was only when geologists were brought into the picture that progress was made. Using geological data, the team was able to locate the city, buried under layers of sediment. This is a testament to the power of interdisciplinary collaboration. Or consider the Giza Plateau mapping project, where archaeologists, geologists, conservators and even computer scientists came together. They created a comprehensive archaeological map of the Giza Plateau, home to the iconic pyramids and sphinx. The project not only enhanced our understanding of the site but also helped in its preservation. 
And let's not forget the importance of local communities. These are the people who have lived with these historical treasures in their backyard. Their oral histories, their traditions, their understanding of the land. These are invaluable resources that can provide insights that no amount of digging or data analysis can. As we prepare to unlock the secrets of the Pyramid of Menkara, let's remember that it's not just about what we find. It's about how we find it, how we preserve it, how we interpret it, and how we share it. The world of archaeology is a symphony of disciplines and it's time we appreciate the harmony they create. Before we delve into the mysteries of the Pyramid of Menkara, let's take a moment to reflect on the environmental footprint of these ancient structures. The construction of the pyramids was an endeavor of epic proportions, requiring vast amounts of resources and labor. But what was the environmental impact of such colossal constructions? How did the ancient Egyptians manage their resources to sustain their civilization alongside these monumental projects? The ancient Egyptians were, in many ways, pioneers of sustainability. Their civilization thrived along the fertile banks of the Nile, where they developed sophisticated irrigation systems to maximize agricultural yield and manage water resources efficiently. They used local materials, predominantly limestone, to build their structures, minimizing the need for transportation and thus reducing the environmental impact. Moreover, the ancient Egyptians were masters of recycling. Nothing was wasted. Old structures were often dismantled and their materials reused in new constructions, a practice that was both resourceful and environmentally conscious. But perhaps the most significant aspect of their environmental wisdom was their respect for the land. They believed in Maat, a concept embodying truth, balance, order, harmony and reciprocity. This philosophy extended to their relationship with the environment. They saw themselves as custodians, rather than conquerors, of the land, a perspective that guided their sustainable practices. So as we stand on the brink of unveiling the secrets of the Pyramid of Menkora, let's remember the environmental wisdom of the ancient Egyptians. They remind us that monumental achievements need not come at the expense of the environment. Their principles of resource management, recycling and respect for the land offer valuable lessons for our own approach to sustainability. As we venture into the heart of the pyramid, let's carry with us this respect for the environment, a testament to the timeless wisdom of the ancients. Our exploration of the ancient pyramids is not just an academic exercise. It's a journey into the past, a quest to understand the wisdom of our ancestors and a responsibility to share that wisdom with the world. Public engagement and education are critical components of this process. By making the wonders of the past accessible to all, we can foster a greater appreciation for our shared history and inspire future generations to continue the quest for knowledge. Outreach initiatives play a crucial role in this endeavor. Interactive exhibits, engaging documentaries and immersive virtual reality experiences are just a few examples of how we can bring the past to life. By connecting people with the stories of the ancient Egyptians, we can create a sense of shared heritage and foster a deeper understanding of our place in the world. Community involvement is another essential aspect of public engagement. By involving local communities in the exploration and preservation of their cultural heritage, we can ensure that these treasures are respected and protected for future generations. Inclusive interpretations of ancient history are also vital. The stories we tell about the past should reflect the diversity and complexity of human experience. By including the perspectives of different genders, social classes and cultures, we can paint a fuller picture of the ancient world and challenge outdated stereotypes. The ancient Egyptians were not just pharaohs and priests, but also farmers, artisans and mothers. Their stories are just as important and just as fascinating. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the pyramids, let's remember to share our discoveries with the world. By engaging the public in our quest for knowledge, we can ensure that the wisdom of the ancients continues to inspire and enlighten us for generations to come. Unveiling the enigma of the pyramids isn't just about satisfying our curiosity. It also has far-reaching implications in terms of tourism and economy. The lure of the pyramids has drawn millions of visitors to Egypt over the years, contributing significantly to the nation's economy. However, with the influx of tourists comes the responsibility to manage these archaeological sites in a way that balances economic benefits with preservation efforts. 
Tourism at the pyramids provides jobs, supports local businesses and fuels the economy. It can be a powerful tool for poverty alleviation and community development. However, the economic benefits of tourism must be balanced with the need to protect and preserve these irreplaceable sites. Managing tourism at archaeological sites is a complex task. It involves ensuring visitor safety, preserving the integrity of the sites and providing an enriching experience for the visitors. Overcrowding, erosion and vandalism are just some of the challenges that need to be addressed. Adequate infrastructure, well-trained staff and visitor education are crucial for the successful management of these sites. Sustainable tourism is the way forward. It involves minimizing the negative impacts of tourism and maximizing its positive effects. This includes protecting the environment, preserving cultural heritage and supporting local communities. Sustainable tourism practices at the pyramids might include limiting visitor numbers, promoting off-peak travel and implementing strict rules to protect the sites. Tourism at the pyramids also raises ethical considerations. We must respect the cultural significance of these sites and the rights of the local communities. We must ensure that tourism benefits the local people and doesn't lead to exploitation or cultural erosion. As we prepare to unlock the secrets of the Third Pyramid, let's remember that the pyramids are not just historical monuments. They are vital economic assets, sources of national pride and symbols of cultural identity. Their preservation and sustainable use are our shared responsibility. Preserving the tangible aspects of our past, such as the pyramids, is undoubtedly crucial. However, it's equally important to remember that there's more to heritage than physical structures intangible heritage, the traditions, stories, music, dances and rituals passed down through generations is a vital part of our cultural fabric. Intangible heritage brings history to life. It gives us a glimpse into the daily lives, beliefs and values of the ancients. It helps us understand their world and their worldview. Without it, our understanding of the past would be incomplete. Unfortunately, intangible heritage is often overlooked and undervalued. It's vulnerable to the forces of globalization, modernization and cultural erosion. Many traditional practices and art forms are on the verge of extinction. That's why initiatives to safeguard intangible heritage are so important. These initiatives involve documenting traditional practices, revitalizing endangered art forms and transmitting cultural knowledge to the younger generation. There's a growing recognition of the value of intangible heritage. UNESCO, for instance, has established the Convention for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage to protect and promote traditional practices around the world. Other organizations, like the World Monuments Fund and the International Council on Monuments and Sites, also have programs focused on intangible heritage. We can all play a role in preserving intangible heritage, we can learn about traditional practices, participate in cultural festivals, support local artisans and advocate for the protection of cultural heritage. We can help ensure that the stories, songs and traditions of the past continue to enrich our lives and the lives of future generations. As we stand at the threshold of a new discovery, let's remember that the pyramids are not just about bricks and mortar. They're about the people who built them, the stories they told, the music they played and the rituals they performed. They're about a way of life that has long disappeared but continues to live on in the intangible heritage of Egypt. Before we take the leap to unravel the enigma that is the Pyramid of Menkore, let's take a moment to journey back through the chapters of our exploration. We have traversed the dawn of civilization, pondered over the architectural conundrums, ventured into the cultural tapestry woven by the pyramids, and explored the impact of these ancient marvels on the economy, environment and geography. We've examined the rituals, ceremonies, technological marvels, gender dynamics and environmental wisdom of ancient Egypt. We have also looked at the myriad ways archaeology is approached and the importance of public engagement and education. We have taken a deep dive into the crucial role of preserving intangible heritage, acknowledging that our past is not only etched in stone, but also woven into the fabric of traditions, music, dances and stories passed down through generations. Your presence and participation in this journey have been invaluable. 
your curiosity and thirst for knowledge have driven this exploration. And for that, we are deeply grateful. As we stand on the brink of a new discovery, we thank you for your unwavering interest and support. Together, we are about to cross a threshold into an unexplored world, unveiling the secrets that have been kept hidden for millennia. So hold on to your seats as we embark on the next phase of this enthralling journey, unearthing the enigma that is the Pyramid of Menkora. Before we dive into the depths of the enigma that is the Pyramid of Menkora, we'd like to pause for a moment and open the floor for an interactive intermission. We understand that the journey so far has been rich with information, intriguing theories and fascinating revelations about the ancient world. You may have questions, comments or thoughts you'd like to share. This is your opportunity. We invite you to engage in discussions, ask questions and offer your insights based on the themes and topics we've covered so far. Remember, every perspective adds a new dimension to our understanding of history. So, don't hesitate to voice your thoughts. Whether it's about the architectural marvels of the pyramids, the enigmatic rituals and ceremonies of the ancients, or the ethical considerations in archaeology, we're here to delve deeper into these topics together. Your participation is not just welcomed, but greatly valued. So, let's take this moment to reflect, discuss, and learn from each other before we embark on the next exciting phase of our journey. The Pyramid of Menkora awaits us, but first, let's enrich our collective knowledge and understanding through this interactive intermission. What if we told you that the Third Pyramid of Giza, a structure shrouded in mystery, has finally been opened? Yes, you heard it right! The pyramid that has been the subject of countless legends and conjectures, the last of the three great pyramids of Giza, is now ready to reveal its secrets. Standing in the shadow of its larger counterparts, the Pyramid of Menkaure has often been overlooked, but those who truly appreciate history understand its unique allure. This pyramid, named after the Pharaoh Menkaure, is an enigma in its own right. Smaller than the pyramids of Khufu and Khafre, it has always held a unique mystery, a silent whisper of ancient secrets waiting to be unveiled. Over the years, countless explorers and archaeologists have tried to penetrate its secrets. Their attempts, however, were met with stone walls, dead ends, and an eerie silence that seemed to guard the pyramid's enigma. These trials, though unsuccessful, only served to deepen the mystery and the allure of the Third Pyramid. The Pyramid of Menkara, a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians, has been a puzzle that has baffled historians for centuries. Its construction, its purpose and its secrets have been subjects of heated debate among scholars. Its chambers, unlike the other pyramids, remained unexplored, fueling speculation and theories. But all that is about to change. Today, we stand on the precipice of discovery. Years of research, technological advancements and arduous efforts have finally borne fruit. The doors that have remained shut for millennia are now ready to swing open. The hushed whispers of the past are about to echo through the chambers, breaking the silence that has reigned for centuries. So. Prepare yourself for a journey into the heart of the Third Pyramid. Brace yourself as we delve into the past, into a world that has remained untouched, unseen and unheard of. After countless failed attempts, the day has finally come when the doors of this ancient marvel are about to be unlocked. The discovery of the Third Pyramid is a tale as old as time. The year was 2023 when a team of intrepid archaeologists unearthed what would become the most significant find of the century. The leader of this team, Dr. Alia Patel, a seasoned archaeologist with a knack for solving ancient riddles, was the one to first lay eyes on this colossal structure. Rising from the sands like a forgotten monument, the Third Pyramid stood majestic and silent, a testament to the architectural prowess of its builders. Initial explorations were carried out with an air of reverence and caution. Every stone, every marking was meticulously examined and catalogued. Within the heart of the pyramid, the archaeologists discovered intricate hieroglyphics and elaborate carvings, each telling a piece of the pyramid story. Yet, the purpose of the pyramid and the identity of its builders remained shrouded in mystery. As news of the discovery spread, theories began to sprout like wildflowers. Some suggested that the pyramid was a tomb for an unknown pharaoh, while others theorized it was a grand temple dedicated to the ancient gods. A few even whispered of the mystical, suggesting that the pyramid was a beacon for extraterrestrial life. 
Scholars, historians and enthusiasts alike debated fervently, each theory more intriguing than the last. Amidst the speculation, Dr. Patel and her team continued their painstaking work. They delved deeper into the pyramid, navigating through labyrinthine passageways and deciphering cryptic inscriptions. Their dedication and perseverance fueled by the tantalizing prospect of unveiling the pyramid's secrets. Despite the numerous theories, the third pyramid remained an enigma, its secrets hidden from the world. Until now. The expedition to open the third pyramid was no easy task. The journey to reveal what lay within the heart of this ancient structure was a monumental endeavor that required meticulous planning, a dedicated team of experts, state-of-the-art equipment, and the courage to face the challenges that stood in their way. The planning stage was akin to a chess game, with each move calculated and every possible scenario anticipated. The team comprised of world-renowned archaeologists, geologists and engineers, all pooling their expertise to make this expedition a success. Their mission was not merely to open the third pyramid, but to do so while preserving its historical integrity. The equipment they used was as varied as the team itself, high-resolution ground-penetrating radars to study the pyramid structure, robotic cameras to navigate the labyrinthine passages, and delicate tools for the painstaking task of excavating without causing damage. Each piece of equipment was chosen with the utmost care, ensuring that the balance between technology and history was maintained. But even with the best planning, the right team, and cutting-edge equipment, the expedition was fraught with challenges. The arid desert heat, the shifting sands, and the very age of the pyramid itself posed significant hurdles. Each stone that was moved, each passage that was explored held the risk of triggering a collapse. The task was as delicate as it was daring, yet the team pushed forward, driven by a shared passion for history and a desire to unveil the secrets of the past. They worked tirelessly, day and night, through sandstorms and searing heat. There were moments of doubt, moments when the task seemed insurmountable, but with each challenge they overcame, they grew stronger, their resolve hardened, the expedition was not just about opening the third pyramid, it was about unraveling a mystery that had stood the test of time. It was about making a connection with an ancient civilization, about understanding our past to better appreciate our present. After months of meticulous planning and strenuous efforts, the moment of truth had arrived. The third pyramid was ready to reveal its secrets, a testament to human ingenuity and the unquenchable thirst for knowledge. As the doors creaked open, the world held its breath. An epic-defining moment, a page from the annals of history was about to be turned. The veil of secrecy that had shrouded the Third Pyramid for over 4,000 years was finally being lifted, unveiling a world that had been frozen in time. The initial sight was overwhelming. The grandeur of the pyramid's interior architecture was a testament to the sophistication and ingenuity of its creators. Walls adorned with magnificent hieroglyphs told tales of their time, while their vibrant colors, still vivid after all these years, were a silent testimony to the artistic prowess of an ancient civilization. The air was thick with anticipation as each step brought forth new revelations. Among the initial findings were an array of artifacts, each one a fragment of the past waiting to be pieced together. Intricately carved statues, gold-adorned jewelry and pottery with imprinted symbols provided a glimpse into the lifestyle, beliefs and practices of those who once roamed these halls. A crucial discovery was a series of well-preserved papyrus scrolls. These ancient manuscripts held the potential to rewrite history, offering insights into the civilization's knowledge of science, astronomy, and even their understanding of life and death. As the news of the pyramid's opening echoed around the globe, reactions poured in from every corner. Scholars, historians, and enthusiasts alike shared a collective sense of awe and excitement. The opening of the Third Pyramid was not just a breakthrough in Egyptology, but a victory for humanity's quest for knowledge. Yet the most significant reaction was perhaps the silent one, the one that occurred within the hearts of those present at the site. It was an overwhelming sense of humility and respect for a civilization that had achieved such grandeur and left behind a legacy that had endured the test of time. The opening of the Third Pyramid was a momentous event, revealing secrets that had been hidden for millennia. The doors to the past had been flung open and history was ready to tell its story anew. The revelation was just the beginning. 
a prologue to the epic tale that was about to unfold. The opening of the Third Pyramid was more than just a moment of revelation. It was the unveiling of a legacy. This legacy, born from the sands of time, has been waiting patiently to share its story. A story that is not just about a pyramid, but about an advanced civilization that once flourished, leaving behind an indelible mark on the canvas of human history. The implications of the findings within the pyramid are profound. They challenge our preconceived notions about ancient civilizations, shedding light on their advanced understanding of science, mathematics and astronomy. We're not only talking about a civilization that built monumental structures, but one that had a deep understanding of the cosmos, a knowledge that still astounds us today. What does this tell us? It tells us that our ancestors were not primitive, but rather they were sophisticated, intelligent and innovative. They were builders, thinkers and dreamers. They were a civilization that left no stone unturned in their quest for knowledge and understanding. They were a civilization that valued wisdom, progress and the pursuit of truth. But this discovery does more than just alter our perception of history. It compels us to question, to wonder and to seek. It inspires us to look beyond the obvious, to dig deeper and to unravel the mysteries that have been left behind. It reminds us that history is not a static narrative, but a dynamic and evolving tapestry that is constantly being woven. This discovery also brings forth a sense of humility. It reminds us that we are but a small part of a vast and intricate puzzle. It humbles us, reminding us of our place in the grand scheme of things and of the immense heritage that we are a part of. As we delve deeper into the Third Pyramid, we continue to unravel the intricate tapestry of our past, reminding us that history is not always as it seems. We are embarking on a journey of exploration and discovery, a journey that promises to be as fascinating as it is enlightening. The Third Pyramid has opened its doors, inviting us to step inside and discover the legacy it has so patiently guarded. As we traverse the enigmatic corridors of the Third Pyramid, the echoes of an ancient civilization whisper their tales into our ears. The hieroglyphics etched into the walls, the ingenious architectural design and the fascinating artifacts unearthed all contribute to the grand narrative of a civilization that was far more advanced than we had ever imagined. Unraveling the threads of time, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of history and mystery, constantly learning, constantly questioning, constantly exploring. The legacy of the ancients is not merely a relic of the past, but a beacon guiding us into the future. It urges us to push the boundaries of our understanding, to reach out into the unknown and to challenge the status quo. As we bring this chapter to a close, we want to express our gratitude to you, our viewers, for joining us on this incredible journey into the past. Your curiosity fuels our exploration and your support makes it all possible. The sands of time have many more stories to tell, many more secrets to reveal, and we hope you'll continue to join us in our quest to unearth them. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey into the past. If you enjoyed this exploration and want to continue unearthing history with us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, History Documentary. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep questioning.